Okay, guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, convert text to like a art object or like a logo or whatever. The point is, um, you'll be able to manipulate the text as if it were a, you know, object that you drew or something like that. All right, so <clears throat> let's find something uh, to, uh, to activate text. The shortcut is T. So let's just tap on the screen and then just type something. Um, I don't know. Uh, love, right? So <clears throat> here you have the text, right? i um, going to make it a little bigger so we can work with it. To change the size of the text, you go to Properties, see Size, you click on it, and then you can slide to the left or to the right, right? So I'm going to slide to the right. Now the text is black. So <clears throat> to manipulate this, see when you when I use a select tool and I click on it, you can you can, and first of all you can uh, manipulate this just like any other object. If I use a transform tool, I can still you know rotate it. I can still um, move it. I can still skew it, um, just like I would any other art object. But the thing is, I can only do so. Um, with the entire word as a whole all right now if i want to break this up i can break it apart so i can deal with or handle each uh letter individually use the break tool and actually if i right click you'll see it if i right click this is what break apart all right but the shortcut is command b and there you go so now <clears throat> When I click on it, you will see. Now I can I have access to individual. I can color them different. I can color them all the same. Say if I highlight all of them, and then I go to color and then I uh, color them like so. See, or I can color them individually. Uh, so let's do that. As an example. Uh, let's make that an orange. Let's make this a green. Or a blue, and make this a green. All right. See, so now you have, and now I can actually, I can move them about. You know, I can attach them in the same way you would, you know, any other art object. You can rotate them. You know, like so. Oh, also, you can, of course, you can scale them up. You know, so it's a pretty cool way to, um, you know. And I just use a text tool, and pretty much you just break it apart, and now you can manipulate them however you choose. You can scale the letters. No. However, now the next step is I'm going to show you. Notice that I still cannot access the, the image, the, the letter itself. I can treat it as a whole as if it's an object, but I cannot, you know, access it itself and really manipulate it. So to do that, what do you do? You select it. Because basically what I just did was break apart the um, the word into individual letters. Now, I can go in, say for example, let's use the uh, E as an example. And I can Command B and break apart. So now if you notice, now it's a art object. I can uh, manipulate it. See, I can pull on it in that way. I can, you know, I can do things to it as if I it were a uh, see I can select a part of it and cut it out you know you can do stuff like that um, you could like say for example uh, use the oval tool I'm gonna make a circle you know you can draw on top of it you know you can delete that so you can do stuff like that to it and then I can you know uh, manipulate that I can go to distort and I can do stuff like this to it you know give it that perspective kind of a look to it so you know that's that's pretty much how you do it all right it's pretty easy so you, you find a text you write it whatever you want to write and you you select the entire thing you break apart command B and then you can individually go into each uh, letter and you know manipulate that as well so, you know, you can really have fun, like, you know, designing logos and stuff like that or, you know, whatever you want to do. 
Um, and you can even animate these as well. Like if I were to go to another frame and um, so like say for example, create a keyframe here and then do something with it. Like say for example, I wanted this big E to like, you know, swing from the top like so. You know, I can, I can do an animation just doing that, you know, swinging it back and forth just by um, going to, uh, okay, I'll just do it really quickly. Create a keyframe here and then I'll move just the E. See, I want to swing it from this point. Swing it like so. Go to another one. And then swing it like so. So if you play through it, see that's what happens. And then of course you can tween it so it's you know it swings slowly or softly or however you want to do it, it's up to you. But um <clears throat> basically the point is you can and just like say for example you're doing an animation, you wanna like make you know like a channel a channel like a, a news channel and you have like a channel uh seven or I don't know, whatever, let's See if we can do something. And um, you type the letter, the number, say, four. See? So <clears throat> now you can have that. You can have that four. Actually, I'll, you can color it to be whatever you want. And then you can make it a an art object. So you break it. Now you can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can... Um, do so, you know, you can manipulate it however you, however you want. You can play with it, right? And then, say for example, you wanted to do that little circle thing. So I'll show you how you use the primitive oval tool. Like so, and you can control, you can control the, the middle of the ring, all right? You can do like so. Right, then you could drop this in the middle. You can scale it up. You know, just showing you, you know, giving you basically just giving you ideas of how you could, you could use this. You see, and there you go, and then it's an it's an art object. You know, and you could maybe um, delete the outsides. You know, and then you can do stuff like that. So it's basically how you do it. It's pretty easy. You just use Command B or the Break Apart uh, command, and then it will turn the whatever text you write in any uh, font, and it will just change it to uh, an art object.